For most people, an interaction as simple as ordering a custom birthday cake or calling for a tow truck seems simple. But for the deaf and hard of hearing, tasks like these can leave them searching for interpreters, delaying or making some interactions near impossible. Our Vivian Rennie sat down with founders of a new app created right here on the Central Coast that is helping to remove barriers in communication. Vivian. Thanks, Janelle. American Sign Language, or ASL, is vital to communication for over 1 million Americans. But in many situations, ASL is simply not enough. An interpreter is also needed, but they can be hard to come by and many times need to be set up ahead of time. A new app is aiming to change that and build a community while at it. It's very frustrating for myself and for the deaf community. I mean, we have to depend on interpreters almost every day in our lives. Without an interpreter, people like Lompoc resident Jacob Milton are left searching for any way to communicate. I see them frustrated and unable to communicate so often. It just means that they're not able to participate in life like anybody else would be able to. It is that problem that a group of Solving residents set out to solve. We built the TIV app and what we built it to achieve was essentially to allow the deaf, hard of hearing and CODA community unfettered communication capabilities anywhere, anytime, wherever they may be, uh, every day throughout their lives. It's an idea similar to calling an Uber or a Lyft, but for communication. Users can request on-demand interpretation, and certified interpreters will be connected to them through the app in just minutes. The idea that we could actually provide um, on-the-go um, last minute requests for interpreting in situations where it wouldn't normally be provided, I think is super exciting. Even in situations where an interpreter is provided, like at the hospital, interpretation can be clunky and delay care. It really feels kind of like you're back in 1990s with some of them. Seeing something that really kind of takes advantage of more modern technology um, and, and really kind of uh, vaulting off of what's already there a little bit helps, uh, helps patients get better care. The amount of harm that can come to somebody who has no access to information. You can't even quantify it, honestly. In non-life-threatening situations, requests for interpreters can take weeks to fulfill. I had requested an interpreter and they said that they couldn't find one. There was none available. Nobody that had the time that I needed available. And so I had to wait for two weeks. The app will also feature social media and news feeds tailored to the community's needs. We're living in a time where giving people the tools and the technologies uh, that are easy and intuitive, but are designed to bring us together, that are designed to connect us as communities. My hope for the future is that every place that I go to would have resources and support. Um, and it would be easy for, you know, one, for me to go in and just get the service I need wherever I am. And for anybody, maybe they're deaf, maybe they're deaf blind, maybe they're blind. I mean, we can go anywhere. For more information on the development of the TIV app, you can check out the story on KSBY.com.